Hey friends, in this video we will see how we can extract the user creation report through the event viewer by using a graphical mode as well as also through a PowerShell script. So first we will see through the graphical mode. So what we need to do, open the event viewer. In the event viewer just expand the windows logs. In the windows logs click on the security. In the security here you need to just search the field uh, search the event id that is 4720 this event id is used for the user creation purpose so just click over here now you can see there is a single events which is just showing inside the uh, the security logs and that comes under the user account management because user creation is the part of user account management and now once i click over here I can see there are the multiple informations are available including subject and new account so the creator comes under the subject part so he, here administrator has just created this account and domain is the info alias and if you just scrolling it down here you can see the new account details here info.02 account has been created and the domain name is same like info alias and uh, once you scroll it down you can see the u display name and uh, upn name is also available so this is the complete information so now comes here so this domain controller has been used to creating this account so this comes under the event id 4720 so here you can get the complete information so now the problem of this events is that it will be wiped out or it will be cleared how you have configured through the properties of the event logs here you can see we have just configured overwrite events as needed so once the, the security logs comes on uh, this size so the logs will be wiped out and this information will be also uh, removed from the events so now what you need to do either you can just archive the events for the auditing or security purpose or or you can just use the powershell script to report it on your email id so later you can show with uh, the auditors like this account has been created on this date and all so let's start to check this event id by using the powershell script so i will go on the powershell isc now i'm just going to open the powershell script which i'm just uh, using for uh, fetching the report user creation report now here you can see i just created a variable report and uh, time here i'm just taking the time and uh, all dcs so this will just fetch the all domain controller informations in, in inside this variable now for each loop this is just searching this will just use to search the events through all domain controller that's why i'm just using for each loop dc and in all dcs now get event the computer name domain controller and a file filter hash table and log name is security and the event id is 4720 so this this command will use to search the 4720 event id on all domain controllers through using the for each loop now this will just check the xml format and if event is just um, matching and it will just uh, fetch the informations including created users new user and uh, and later it will just store the informations uh, through this command over here and then it will just store it inside the report and this report will come as a html format and all users suppose if you have created four or five users so this will search this report by using the for each loop and then it will store it inside the html format like tabular format and uh, then it will just use the 
global ps1 this is the ps1 where i just stored my smtp details and including the password and all so it will just use this ps1 and then uh, then it will just use the uh, the from value this email id has been used to sending the email now this is the subject which i am just using for the the reporting purpose and if you just want to change it so just change your accordingly as per your requirement and uh, if you haven't created your global dot ps1 then you can just mention the smtp details including smtp server name the password and uh, username and all so now i'm just using the credentials so this credentials will just uh, convert it to the secure string now i'm using this send mail message and smtp details port details and the email id where we just want to send the report and this will use the from variable for sending the mail and the subject and the body is the html so the value which is just uh, generated over here this will come inside the html and this will come inside the tabular format now i will just execute this powershell script and we will see how report has been generated so now you can see there is a uh, account info.02 has been created and that we have already seen inside the event viewer and uh, if you have multiple domain controller currently i have only one domain controller from which we have just created the account but if you have two or three domain controller so this will just extract the report from all those domain controller by using the for each loop because we have just mentioned over here uh, so it will just fetch the report from all domain controllers now we'll see on the email how this email has been sent to the uh, recipients now just i'm just checking this email let's see either it is received inside the junk or somewhere else no this has not been received yet we will check in the powershell script either we can use some other email id gmail.com i will just send it on the same recipient You can see the user account has been created in 4.02 and the creator is the administrator and the domain controller name is the srv01.infoelias.local and the time period when the account has been created. So this PowerShell script will help you out to report the user creation details from all domain controllers to your recipients wherever that you want so just scroll it down and you can see the powershell script and uh, you can follow it and you can just use it and then see the report and you can share it with your other administrators as well thank you for watching this video